Hi there, my name's Cameron Brown. I'm the director on Mercenaries 2 World in Flames. And I'm Scott Warner, the lead designer. And today we're back with one of our Zero Rules videos. A couple of weeks back we showed you guys uh, three ways to play the same mission, right? Each merc had a kind of different take on awesome destructive action to tackle the same mission. This is the one where we're bringing in a listening post as part of a larger mission. And so today we wanted to show you a fourth way. And this is something we've never shown you before, which is cooperative gameplay. So we're going to actually work together to accomplish this objective. So here you see me, I'm playing Matthias on the right there. I've got Scott in my game. What you're looking at is not actually split screen. We've captured two players playing online, Scott and myself, and then we've kind of edited it together so you can see both views simultaneously. Here you see us teaming up. I'm there on the helicopter on the right. And I'm trying to uh, take out the SAM so that the SAM doesn't cause any problems when it's flying around there. What we're trying to show you here is by collaborating in co-op, you know, it really opens up the tactical options. Players can work together, they can work apart. One of the really cool things is that Merc's co-op lets you play through the entire campaign of the game. You, you can play from the title screen to the end credits with your friend with all of the freedom and flexibility and open world awesomeness uh, that is mercenaries. So right now I'm actually in, in Cam's helicopter flying around but you have a great deal of freedom to be able to move around and do things as you like as we're going to show you. Everything that works in single player works in co-op. You can still go anywhere, do anything, steal anything, blow anything up. If anything it's magnified. We've seen this objective many times. We're going to take you into uh, one that we haven't showed you before. Up here we've accepted a mission. We've got to help out a rather inebriated Russian jet pilot and destroy a bunker on this island. I'm the here on the right now I'm playing Chris and I'm Matthias and I'm gonna grab this jet ski here I love jet skis why don't we both take a jet ski Sounds what good. do you say now one of the first things you got to understand here is that Mercs offers true drop in drop out co -op. you don't have to kind of you know enter some special mode or go to some special map Scott has jumped into my game here I send him an invite he appears we just keep playing he can drop in he can drop out and I can keep playing it's a truly seamless co-op experience so we're gonna work collaboratively here because man there's a tank playing a bit of hide and seek but fortunately because we're playing cooperatively Cameron has gone up and manned that artillery rocket so he's actually firing away I'm gonna uh, save your Oscar Orna once again yes these kind of uh, opportunities to help each other out and collaborate are endless and very very emergent in the game just like in the single player experience we don't put a lot of restrictions it's really designed with co-op so we really don't make a distinction between single player and co-op whether you're playing the single player game or your buddy jumps in there's a plethora of options for you we give you a specific goal in this case you got to collect some airstrike munitions and then you call in an airstrike on a specific bunker but how you do that is really up to you we just let you figure it out. So you know, here, you know, I'm jumping into Scott's vehicle. This is a game designed from the ground up with co-op in mind. All the vehicles and mercs are set up for co-op, so yeah, the vast majority of them have turrets. Uh, they all have seats that accommodate two players. Cool. I mean, you can also both get blown up in the same car as well. <laughs> Those recoilless <laughs> rifles are pretty dangerous. So players can really stick together. You know, obviously it's, it's co-op and you're working on the same objectives, but uh, you can also split apart. The game world is designed such that you guys can be a long distance apart, running around supporting each other or, or completing separate objectives. Or if I get really tired of the entire experience, I can drop out anytime I want and not affect this game. It's true drop-in, drop-out co-op. Let's say Scott had a phone call, he had to go out to dinner or something like that. You know, he can just drop out of my game, I can keep playing, it doesn't interrupt me at all. When he wants to come back, he just appears in my vehicle or in the world with me. What the hell are you driving, dude? It's, um... Well, Holy... It's completely <laughs> awesome. Whoops, I can't drive it up. One of the other very cool features of Mercs is, since you're not a soldier, you're not limited to military equipment. If you want to bring a monster truck or some other kind of crazy vehicle into the mix, you can do that. There we go. <laughs> I know this just really goes to again the, the freedom of the game. There is no one right way to do anything, and that's true of single player and co-op. The entire experience really is meant to be do it your way, and that just gets amplified when you bring your buddy in. All of the emergent objectives are really interesting to take any way that you want to. Whoa, cool. That doesn't change when you bring somebody else into it. There's just a lot more that opens up for you to do. So we're uh, we're approaching this objective with two helicopters, but Cameron's is a. Uh, substantially better than mine. But he's been smart enough to fire at a couple of fuel tanks in the world that have caused large secondary explosions. By hitting the right targets, he can turn a low-end attack helicopter into a fairly high-end attack helicopter. I'm going to try and find something a little bit better, so uh, keep the skies clear for me. All right, on it. So now watch this trick. Here's something you can only do in Mercenaries co-op play. All of our attack helicopters have a winch, and so of course, you know, because we never say no to the player, we always say yes. Can you pick up the tank that your buddy's driving with the winch so that he can fire on targets he may not otherwise be able to reach? Of course you can. Yes, I can go ahead and shoot away as sort of like a uh, winchable turret. When have you seen this in any other game? Right, dual assault. Pretty nice. 
All right, let me let me drop you off there and let's uh, take care of business. I'll give you some air support from above. You can see, you know, once again, that this is a true end-to-end, -end, fully seamless drop-in, drop-out co-op through the, the entire single-player campaign. That kind of demonstrates the variety of options that are available to you in Mercs by itself and also particularly in co-op. We're really excited to show this to you guys and hope that you guys are excited to play it. It's a really amazing and fun experience. Mercs 2 is hitting the shelves August 31st in North America, September 5th in Europe, and we hope you enjoy it.